That's pretty cool. guys we are headed to my first ever RC swap meet uh, I have no idea how this is gonna go um, but uh, it seems pretty cool uh, at least the idea behind it is so I can't wait to get in there check everything out and uh, kind of do a little bit of filming this is the one up. I was talking about right here that's got the different inside what do you think and then underneath there RC bike. This one right here is pretty cool. What about that one? A lot of stuff over there. The RC swap me. That is cool. <laughs> so I was trying to check out here is this damn thing. What is that? That's this one here. Let me go for that damn thing. walking out of there without getting anything um, everything was uh, super expensive but it was a cool little experience it really was I've never been to a swap meet before um, lots of things there vintage stuff um, big fish scale stuff lots of boats uh, I've never seen so many boats before apparently they run boats around here somewhere so I'm gonna try to get to some of those events this year it really kind of cool um, but, you know, as, as you would expect, you know, uh, an RC event like this, you better bring your wallet. <laughs> wow. Uh, even the vintage stuff in there. Um, I seen an RJ Speed body, okay, for example, and it was an older version of it. Um, Proline or whatever makes these. And you can, you can even buy them today. But this is like an older version of the body. They wanted like $65 in there. I could buy a newer version for $40. does not really make a lot of sense. Uh, you got you got some stuff like that in there, but you also have a lot of cool old stuff. Like I found the Army Nero. You've seen that. That was really cool. Um, guy wants a little much for it, but, you know, then again, it's kind of collectible. So um, I understand. Uh, lots of cool stuff in there, guys. Uh, I really had a fun time. Got to meet quite a few people, passed out my channel and stuff, you know, trying to get the channel to grow. So, uh, 
told a lot of people about you know what I do and stuff and hey go watch my channel so we'll see how that, that works out um, but yeah I got to meet a lot of interesting people talk to a bunch of them uh, might have a couple trades going on in the future uh, we'll just kind of have to see uh, interesting little deal I'll try to come to another one of these and uh, I'll try to get more footage next time I was just I was kind of super excited about everything that was around me so uh, it was kind of hard to uh, you know film a little bit more than what I did I should have but uh